Good morning. On this We Can Do It Wednesday, I'm going to get right to the point. There's something that all of us should always have. We'll put it this way. If we always have a plan A, doesn't it stand to reason that we should always have a plan B? What am I talking about? Back in a minute. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. I truly love helping people keep some more of their own hard-earned money. Could that be you? So the other day, I said, you know what? I'm in the mood for some uh, skinless, boneless, chicken thighs type of a dinner. So you know, I wanted to put something together easy. I work with the base meal and then whatever way I want to doctor it up later on, maybe with some different sauces or different ways of preparing it or shredding it up, some of it make it a little bit of a sandwich, whatever I want. But I wanted to cook my uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs in my slow cooker. And my slow cooker has been my faithful friend for quite a while. And uh, in my lifetime, I've been through a number of slow cookers. How about anybody else listening out there? Let me know in the comments section below. So this was typically, let's say, what, what day was this? On a Saturday? I think it was a week ago Saturday that this happened that it actually happened, set everything set up, put it on, proceeded to do my, you know, housework, you know, straighten up, clean up a little bit. And, you know, like about an hour later, I wanted to just take my eyeballs and look down above the lid to see the steaminess, you know, through the glass, uh, through the glass on top, the glass covering on top. So after years and years and years of faithful service, I didn't see steaminess. I saw clear glass. I said, wait a minute. This looks as if I didn't even turn the crock pot on. I'm like, okay, this was an actual crock pot. I'm just saying, just saying. But I did use it a lot, many, many years, old faithful service. So I put my hand on the outside. It felt ice cold. I said, wait a minute. Now I know the meat that I put in there was rather cold. And I'm thinking maybe it took, you know, taking a little longer to heat up or something. But that was weird because a whole hour went by. I had all my seasonings. I had my um, bouillon in there. Uh, set it up with a couple of you know fresh vegetables in there. You know how you do it when you set up your meal to go into your slow cooker. So I said, "Oh, let me double check to see if I didn't turn the gadget on." No, it was pointing on the high direction. Oh, okay. I said, "Well, let me double check that it's plugged into the wall." <laughs> Yes, it was faithfully uh, was faithfully plugged into the wall. And I asked myself, what on earth happened? You know what I don't like the most? The ceramic part, the inside of it, the you know, stoneware, whatever you want to call that. Everything perfect condition, not even one scratch because I, I took good care of it. It just conked out. It just died out of nowhere. I'm like, wait a minute. I know that to everything in this world is a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I bless it for having given me such loyal service, okay? But that was plan A. The original plan was to have a meal, okay? Do its thing like I expected it to do. You know how like we have a reasonable amount of expectation of things? After all these years of reasonable expectation, the unit did its job. Turned it on turned it off, did its job, turned it on, turned it off, did its job. And it did this for years. And I really like love to use my slow cooker. I'm just saying the truth. All right. It's just my friend <laughs> as far as a kitchen appliance goes. All right. You know, thankfully they're very reasonable. So immediately following, I said, but I'm still not convinced if that thing is really broken. So um, I didn't do it yet, and I really should. I'm going to give it another opportunity to check it to see if it still works. But in the interim, I thought it best to order a new one. So I ordered a new one. It should be coming any day by now. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, not much bigger, maybe like a 0.5 amount bigger. And it's oval shape instead of round shape. One thing about the oval shape pots, I think you could place your food in it better. I don't know. Does that seem reasonable to you? Let me know how you feel about that. 
in the comments section below. What's the whole point about this? Am I just whining, crying, and lamenting about how I miss my faithful friend called my crock pot that I've used for years? <laughs> well, that's part of it. But in general, I'm really saying in life, we need to come up with a plan B. Okay, now let's compare this little incident to an emergency fund, for example. Um, a lot of people still don't think an emergency fund is important. For that, I really, I scratch my head on that and don't get it. How anyone could think that not having an emergency fund as an essential, it, I, I just, yeah, scary, <laughs> scary. But you know, just like we do our stockpiling of our food, and we talk about stockpiles on Fridays. So um, making a long story short, what we need to do, okay, what we need to do is to build up an emergency fund with cash, okay? Is that going to happen overnight? No, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take a little time, and that's okay. That's okay, because you went all this time for the person that didn't have an emergency fund. The person went all this time without having one, but get started. Have that as your plan B. We never know the things that that happen in life. It could be something minor in life that you require to get in there. It could be something major league in life, like unexpected and sudden income loss. And I've told this story many, many times. You could be the best worker in the whole world. I mean, you could be the best worker in the whole world and one day show up on a Monday morning, bright, ready and raring to go to work and find a pink slip on your desk. Now, hopefully it doesn't happen. But why not be prepared for such emergencies? We just do not know. So my main thing, my uh, request on this, we can do it Wednesday. If you have not started an emergency fund, please begin to do so, okay? Make that one of your top priorities, okay? Start off with a baby amount, like let's say $1,500 or $2,000, okay? That would be your baby amount. But eventually, you want to have a fully funded emergency fund of your entire month's expenses and perhaps a little bit more than that for three to six months. That is the recommended amount. Can you make a point during this brand new year of 2024? If you only have even less than half of a baby emergency fund, boost that up if at all possible. And it is possible. You say, but Jan, you know, times are tough. You know, I get it. I really, really do get it. Find a little side hustle. Even if you earn a couple of hundred extra bucks a month until you, you know, really complete the baby emergency fund, then eventually go on to fulfill the uh, required, in my honest opinion, the real emergency fund of the fully funded emergency fund of three to six months. Let me tell you something. You will sleep a lot better at night. In my honest, you will sleep a lot better at night just knowing it is there in case of an emergency. Emergencies do not come as a written cordial invitation like a birthday party. Okay. You're not, it doesn't work that way. They happen quickly. They happen fiercely and out of nowhere because that's why it is an emergency, something of great urgency. So therefore, why not be ready? Make that decision. Make that decision during quieter times in one's life, okay? All right, there you go. So have your plan, be ready, always be ready. Have an amazing, fantastic day and take good care of yourself and your family.